Hi, everybody, and welcome to the XYZ of betting. Uh, I am the money man, Kevin Ferguson. I've got Ollie Keohan here, money boy, and I've got Shakes Rambetti in the house. Guys, welcome. Thanks, Kevin. Both you guys are kicking my ass, 107, 106, but I did miss a week. Um, let's get straight into it. Um, Liverpool, have, who have been just in an unbelievable form, yeah. um, take on Brighton, yeah, who have lost four in a row. Um, it's an interesting, well actually it's not that interesting a game, it's just interesting if you look at the, the past results, which have seen I think uh, two draws, Brighton 1-1 one, one, and Liverpool's 1-2 one, one, um, in their last five Premier League matches. Mm. So it's an interesting uh, that, that you know a team of Liverpool's quality has historically in the, last, like in the last two years actually struggled a bit against Brighton. Yeah. Um, but you can't deny the form that Liverpool are in at the moment. They obviously had that 1-0 loss to Inter Milan early in the week, but they're still through. In the Champions League, um, Rio Ferdinand said that like you know this means that it's like they've lost the momentum now. I I disagree. I think you know if you do a loss at some stage, especially when you ought to be winning all of your next Premier League games to potentially challenge for the title, rather that loss comes in the Champions League where you still go through. You know they still went through on on, on aggregates, so they won the Carabao Cup. You know against Chelsea, and that win was big for them in terms of who they beat. It's like they go down in one game. Um, sort of realize where the issues were, but it doesn't mean anything for their tournament hopes. And then now it's like this weekend, cool, they want to get come and get stuck into Brighton. Again. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and Salah was very unlucky not to score at least two or three goals in that game. He hit the post twice. Exactly. So Liverpool should have won, but they didn't need to. Look, I'm going to say 3 1 to Liverpool. I don't think it's worth investigating too much. Okay. Shakes, what do you, what do you make of, of, of Liverpool not beating Brighton? in three games now. They've lost one and drawn two. It's funny you say that, Kevin. I actually think, like, I was about to say Liverpool straight win, but I realised that in the last four games, they've met each other. Liverpool's only won once. Um, they've only beaten Brighton once. And I do think that the way in Brighton plays, it's a little bit awkward for Liverpool style. I do also think about Liverpool. If you guys have been watching them, you watch the Inter that happened, obviously, yesterday they hit the post. You watch what happened even over the weekend when they when they won as well. But Liverpool are conceding chances. And I think it's due to their high line as well. I mean, they, they're letting a lot of runners in behind them, especially the West Ham game. If you watch that, like how West Ham are not able to get an equalizer in that game will be, it's puzzling. So they do concede a lot of chances. But the thing about Liverpool is they've got the firepower to outscore the opponent. Um, that's what they have. And they go up against Brighton that hasn't won the last four games. Their confidence is very low, very, been very poor as well. But, yeah, I think I'm going to have side with Oliver on this one. But my one will be a lot closer. I'm going to say 2-1 instead of 3-1. Okay. Yeah, like it's, it's definitely a bit of a bogey team for, um, for Liverpool. But uh, they're on such a roll. And, conf and confidence is big in sports. And Brighton, on the other hand, like I said, they've lost four in a row. Uh, Liverpool's got a healthy team. I'm not reading anything into their Inter Milan uh, loss. It means nothing. Um, they got through, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say two-one for Liverpool. Okay. And then a thrilling game next: Brent, Brentford Burnley. You, you're being sarcastic, obviously. Yeah, yeah I think I'm. <laughs> it's very simple for me whenever I see Burnley against one of these teams it's, it's a one all draw <laughs> well you know the thing is that if Burnley you've got 60 you've got from 16 down which includes Leeds and Everton um, that could be relegated you know so all these games are, are, are massive right now for the teams in the lower half mm -hmm. of the table um, Brentford's just been on a woeful streak since starting the year uh, since starting the year um well, so what do you what do you say about uh, Brentford Burnley? One all. One all. What do you say, uh, Shakes? Yeah, a very interesting game as well. I don't know if you guys also saw. I'm um, in, in Brentford's last game, which they won against Norwich. Christian Eriksen managed to get in 19 minutes of football, so yeah. it's good to see that being able to play four games as well. And I think he also contributed with the first goal for Ivan Tony as well. Um, so he's a huge plus um, to have a player of that nature. Burnley, on the other hand, they showed a lot of fight, but they played 
uh, opposition that is better than them recently, hence why they lost. I think it's going to be very close this game. I've been very impressed with Rehost of, of Burnley, just the way in terms of he holds the ball, he's able to play with his feet as well, regardless of how tall he is. I actually am going to go with a Burnley win. I think Burnley win this one 1-0. Yeah, interesting. Kevin, what do you think? Well, you know, the, the, the interesting thing is in the last five games these teams have played, uh, Burnley has won all five of them. So, you know, and, and they seem to be at least improving, whereas Brentford, on the other hand, have been dropping, you know. Um, and, Bur- and Burnley put, us, put away uh, Tottenham and Brighton well before they played, uh, ch- lost to Chelsea um, 4-0 and Leicester 2-0. So I don't know, I'm going to have to call a draw on this one, I think, as well. I can't pick a winner in this one. I'm going to say 2-2 or 1-2-2 <laughs> draw for me. Okay, then uh, Everton will be playing Wolves off the back of getting slapped 5-0. Isn't the, the next, isn't the next one Man United Tottenham? Oh, sorry, yes, sorry, it's Man United Tottenham. Come on, man. <laughs> But the least boring game to watch this weekend. Uh, yeah, right? that's, I was gonna, that's a good way to phrase it, Shakes. It's not like you don't even want to say, you know, the most exciting. You want to say the least boring because it's just like... I think it's tough from a betting perspective looking at these two games because in terms of like top, you know, top tier sides, I don't know who would have given like any pundits more headaches than Tottenham and Man United this, uh, you know, this year just in terms of their like... I think with Man United expectation versus reality and with Tottenham just like pure inconsistency, you know? Yeah, but you know, the one thing, in, uh, you know, before last week's, before this week's game against, last week's Saturday's game against Sunday, was it Sunday or Saturday? Yeah, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Before that, since this new manager has taken over, 15 out of their 20 games have been under two and a half goals. Mm. They have, they've, they have, I think they have... Uh, Ten draws in uh, in the same time, yeah. Which is which is you know. So there's a definitely. Well, they're becoming the old Arsenal, and it's, and it's boring. Yeah. You know, they don't really have an, aden- an identity, and uh, I I like the three point three five on Tottenham to, mm. to to win this game. I think they have enough quality. Kane seems to be uh, rejuvenated under Conte. Um, I'm going to go with a three one Tottenham away win. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. Actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three two. Okay. Spurs. Well, what do you What do you say, uh, Shakes? Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go with that result, guys. Uh, I for me, the Spurs side played well in the last two games, but I they that I can't trust them. Eh? I really can't, especially considering the world class performance that they showed against. Manchester City, and then to lose to 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 Burnley as well in the following week. Yes, they scored nine goals in the last two games. I don't trust them still. Um, so I I surprisingly am going to go with Manchester United win. Just I think Manchester United is the luckiest team in the Premier League to find themselves where they are with the points that they have. They're the worst top five team in, 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 I've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I agree. They are so bad, but somehow they can walk out of Atletico Madrid with a draw. Somehow they can beat Leeds. Somehow they can beat Brighton. Like they just—they're so lucky with their performances. You watch them; it's poor. But I think they're going to have one of those nights as well, or the, one of those games as well over the weekend. Poor performance, but lucky to beat Spurs. Well, I yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for that. Um, who's up next? Everton so, Wolves. So who who we me and you took Tottenham three one, yeah, and you took uh, a Man United victory. Okay, thanks. I just wanted to get that correct. Look, Everton relegation zone uh, were actually pretty close against Man City before the the controversy of that handball, um, you know, which I think sort of left a left a Liverpool fan shattered. Um, and then so did Man United the next week against Man City. 
But uh, then Everton go and get absolutely slapped by Spurs early in the week, 5 0. Like they were never in it, hey? That's an emphatic, emphatic loss. Um, and it's, uh, I think, you know, what's been nice, fairly nice about the Premier League recently is that aside from perhaps United in the top five, the results have been indicative of where the teams stand. Do you know what I mean? Like, Everton in relegation zone, they're getting whacked 5 0 by Spurs. It's like, actually, yeah, <laughs> that kind of makes sense given the season, you know? Yeah. Uh, City are destroying Man United. What was it? 5 1. That makes sense if you look at the quality of the two sides. So, yeah, look, Wolves have been, Wolves have been punching the whole season. They've been decent. Um, you know, uh, unlucky. I think they went down to West Ham recently. Um, but I don't know. I don't know how they travel. I mean, they they on they Everton are favoured here, not heavily. Two point three zero Wolves are three point three zero. I don't know. Struggling with this one. I feel like a I feel like a one all draw could be on the cards here. Yeah. Look, it's 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 at Everton, which helps. Yeah. You know? um, the thing for me is over the last ten games, Everton have had the worst record in in the Premier League. You know. Mm. One win, one draw, and eight ties. Sorry, one w- win, one draw, and eight losses. Um, the only team they've beaten is Leeds, and everybody beats Leeds now. Um, and Wolves are not a bad side. Yeah. They keep it tight. Um, I'm going to go for the draw as well. I hate to be copying you, but, uh, you know, I think... I think Everton will be happy with a draw in this instance. Yeah, I mean, look, Wolves have lost to Crystal Palace and to West Ham now uh, in their last two matches. So, yeah. you know, not exactly riding high on, on any confidence and traveling, which, uh, as we've seen since crowds came back, you know, mm. make, does make a huge difference. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So I'm going to go with the draw. What do you say, Shakes? Yeah, interesting. We've got two sides that both of them in the last five Premier League games have only scored twice. Um, so they are blunt up front, both of them, not capable of scoring goals. But the thing Wolves can say is that at least we don't concede as many as Everton do. And I think that a 5 nil against Spurs is going to hit them really hard. I am actually going to go with the Wolves 1-0 win. I think Wolves go there and they get the result because I think Everton... Just the naivety in the way they played Spurs and 5-0 that's just going to be deflating for them.